Good evening. It's been more than two months since a Milwaukee family lost their loved one to a hit and run. Now they're not only asking for answers, but solutions. Jenna Ray takes us back to August 31st, where 52 year old Robert Cocroft was hit and killed on his way home from work. Because I still can't get past what happened. Um, every time his name is brought up, every time I'm looking for him to call me, come to my door, I'm still hurting. It's been 70 days since Sabrina Tolley's brother, Robert Cocroft, was hit and killed near 37th in Congress. We don't have any answers. An ongoing investigation after Robert was hit while riding a lime scooter on his way home from work by a speeding car. According to the neighbors, it was 70 miles an hour and they just, his, his life got snuffed away. For months now, Sabrina and other neighbors have been trying to make change on Congress. A one-way street, we caught speeders on Thursday. When you drive down it, not a single speed limit sign is posted. Family tells me they want to see drivers on this street slow down. They want to see better lighting, speed limit signs posted, and speed bumps. I made several calls to the Ottoman um, a week after his death to try to see if we can get a solution around here. They never reached back out to me, even though I was told I was supposed to get some calls. So I ended up calling again yesterday, and the end result of that seemed like it was something that was never going to happen. We tried calling District 7 Alderman Khalif Rainey multiple times over the last two days and sent emails. Now, yet another Milwaukee family left without answers after another unsolved hit and run waiting and praying for change. And if they have reoccurring um, street driving issues, let them stay in a little longer. Give them eight months to 18 months to look and see on their life what you did to someone else. If I can't get justice for him right away, I would rather have justice for these kids that's playing out here so no one had to feel the pain that I'm feeling. In Milwaukee, Jenna Ray, TMJ4 News. And the Milwaukee crash analysis shows hit and runs are committed at an alarming rate in our city. 32% of all crashes in Milwaukee are hit and runs. That percentage is twice as high as the hit and run rate in Madison, Green Bay, and the state as a whole. Milwaukee police records show more than the, over the last four year period, only about a quarter of criminal hit and run cases resulted in an arrest.